guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're focusing on Cricket South Africa giving the one of the greatest cricketers in the world, Jock Cullis, the boot as a consultant for the Proteus. Now obviously for those who don't know, Cricket South Africa have pretty much fallen to the bottom due to the rulings that have been made, due to the politics in sport, due to just a lot of drama and negativity facing the sport in itself. We have lost CEOs, we have lost chairmen, we have lost um, playing staff. We have, it's just been a lot of drama that has gone from match fixing drama to uh, the BLM movement getting involved. It's just been a little bit of a mess and I just can't see how Cricket South Africa are going to recover from this, especially with the latest news that they've released now. Now more for transformation, when it's done the right way, when it creates opportunities for people of colour who are there on merit. And I know there's some great coaches and great players out there. But when you get to the calibre of Jacques Cullis, who, for those who don't know, recently inducted into the ICC Hall of Fame, which is quite a remarkable achievement. Um, one of the best all-rounders in the world, if not the best. Highly respected all over the world. And the reason that Cricket South Africa have decided to not use him um, any further is because Cricket South Africa have committed to hiring black consultants exclusively in the effort to speed up transformation. Now, obviously, with the whole BLM movement and government getting involved, they are wanting to see transformation happening by getting more players of colour, um, as well, not only in, from a playing point of view, but from a coaching point of view, from a management point of view. Now, I'm all for it. If you're there on merit, by all means, take up the positions. But when you are removing players uh, or coaches or, or whatever you call them, assistants, with the caliber and the career and the success of Jacques Callas due to this, I just think it's, it's, uh, it's, it's criminal in a way. Because Jacques has given so much to the game of cricket, not only from a scholarship level in schools, from his foundation, but to South African cricket, for um, playing. It's just remarkable what he's done and given to the sport of cricket. And um, not just only in South Africa, but around the world. He's been coaching the IPLs. He's just been an absolute figure. And such a well-respected player. And I, I, I think it's extremely sad that we are getting to situations where we are removing talented people due to the colour of their skin. And it says, and I quote, News 24, go check it out. They said, under the new internal commitment, the Proteus would not be able to make use of colours in any coaching capacity unless it could be proved that there was no person of colour capable to fulfil the same role. With all due respect, and I, and I mean this on all races, there's not many you can replace with your colours. In fact, I can't think of anyone in South Africa with the, the history, the resume of your colours. But yet, even though it states that, it's looking like um, we are going to lose your colours' services as a mentor to these guys. I mean... The new policy is particularly startling given Cullis' sta status as one of the greats to have ever played the game. Obviously, Graham Smith, he fought very hard for Mark Boucher to be coach, and rightly so. Mark Boucher's got the, the trophies, he's got the resume of what he's achieved in such a short time as a coach. You cannot look past the man. The biggest stuff up, and I blame Cricket South Africa for this, was hiring Otis Gibson. I mean, we there, I blame Cricket South Africa because there were players, there were coaching staffs within this own country that we could have selected other than Otis Gibson. But yet we went for the Englishman or former English bowling coach. And, and, and that was a mistake. We could have really thought of this transformation process now or then and then built something up, which could have been remarkable. And now currently we're just sitting in the whole big mess where they are filled with so much crap and they need to now try and crawl their way back up. There are so many people who are hurting for what they've done to this brand of cricket. They've worked hard to get the caliber of transformation within players right now. And I know the past is the past and there were tough times. But what we've achieved 
in the likes of these guys who are coming up and now all the negativity on top of it is just destroying the name of cricket and the fact that Cricket South Africa have gone so far instead of working together with legends you've gone in and you're now removing any opportunity of a qualified consultant or coach because of the colour you're not giving them the opportunity to coach therefore Avery de Villiers cannot become a coach or a mentor in the protest squad because of his colour Faf Duplessis, Sean Pollock, Alan Donald, all players who have contributed to the game and given so much to Cricket South Africa, they cannot be chosen right now because of their colour and they want to speed up transformation. You can speed up transformation by doing many things, by including players of colour, coaches of colour, and without causing this drama and, and unnecessary bad publicity, bad media, negative media, because you got to have both communities of the supporters, whether it's negative or positive, just fighting again, causing negative. We're going to see it in the comments on this video. It is just sad, and it's just unnecessary. And I really don't have much more to say, is that I completely disagree with Cricket South Africa's way of handling the situation and they should be held accountable for destroying this sport that has changed so many people's lives who have given so many people hope and i blame politics for destroying it as well politics yeah what i do for today's video i hope you enjoyed it. if you did smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you real soon for another one thanks so much for watching stay safe and never give up Cheers.